My name is Jasper. Um, I'm giving a talk on commentary, which is code comments. Um, we'll go over those in a minute for those of you who are not computer scientist majors. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of history, a bit of humor, a bit of debate. There's a lot of fun things going on with comments in code. <coughs> Apparently my intro is a bit short. So who am I? I am Jasper. I'm a second year. I'm a computer science student. And Ignite is actually one of the reasons I chose to come to Cal Poly in the first place. I saw one during Open House Weekend while I was debating between here and UCSD, and I thought, this seems really awesome. And later on, when I was picking, I was like, that seemed really awesome. And now I'm here. So what are code comments? They are notes in the code to other programmers that are not code themselves. So it's a little text like, oh, it's like annotations. Oh, I did this. Why I did this. Here I did that. Um, when the code actually gets run, it's ignored. Um, there's different syntax for marking what should be ignored for every language. There's a few examples there on the right um, from uh, basic, I believe, uh, C, C++, and so on. And on the right, you will see uh, so of my own comments from my project this quarter in 327, I like to talk to myself. I get pretty lonely. <laughs> so early comments, going back in time, for those of you who may not know. Uh, they started out in languages like BASIC, COBOL, and FORTRAN, late 50s, early 60s. Um, they were only the whole line because computers weren't very powerful and really wanted to know, can I just eliminate this entire line from the code? And they used a special location to indicate they should ignore them. In this case, this is FORTRAN. They did coding on punch cards. They literally punched out what letter you wanted on each column of a line, and every line was its own card. So because of this, the very first column was usually used to mark a comment, in this case, C. Uh, it was very quick to see, oh, there's a C, I can just throw this whole line away. Um, pretty quickly after that, you start to see more flexible, more powerful code comments as computers got better at realizing, oh, I can ignore this or that. Um, you start to see the slash slash here is a pretty common syntax. Um, the computer science majors have seen it everywhere. Um, and you start to see comments that are at the end of the line or whole blocks. So today, they're a little bit more powerful. You can use them to generate documentation, like in Javadocs. Um, tools will automatically scan your comments and make like web pages that describe your code for you. Some of them will be used to mark um, in the gutter, like, oh, you need to come back to here. You can see nice visual. You forgot to do stuff here. Um, today, there's a bit of debate, though. Should you have comments? Uh, a lot of people will say, yes, please comment your code, but Google disagrees. There's almost a billion results on why or why not you should have comments in your code. And the ultimate answer I found after searching and summing it down for you is, um, yes, kind of. You need to consider, do you need comments <laughs> right here? So a lot of people are fans of putting comments like this that describe what they're doing a little too literally. Um, I make a variable that is 12, and I say, hey, here's 12. And then I describe the loop, and then I describe the printing, um, which is a bit unnecessary. And there's a lot of costs involved with comments. Like, do I update them when I update the code? For instance, I had a code that returned false, and then I changed it, or it returned true, and then I changed it, and the comment says otherwise. The other problem, too, is readability. If you have a lot of comments, looking for the actual code is hard. Um, personal note. I saw this in a Git repository. It was IHS. Um, <laughs> the non-technical people won't get this. Git had merged, and this had persisted through several commits, bad unmerged comments that I had to later sort out, which was very painful. Um, the bottom line of this, uh, all that debate, is that you really want to have documentation for high level and public. If someone else is to read your code, you should have documentation of what it does. Um, they should describe why you're doing something, not how you're doing something. And they should be succinct. They should be to the point and not overkill. Um, now. There are issues with the content of comments. So comments are publicly available on any web page. You can see the code that runs the web page. You can see all the comments, because JS is you know, publicly available. It's not compiled. It's right there on, if you look at it. Um, other developers might see your code. The public might see your code. Uh, in this case, the Microsoft source code for uh, Windows 2000 was leaked in 2004. <laughs> and these are actual comments from Microsoft programmers that the world was not supposed to see, but are hilarious. <laughs> they call themselves morons a lot. Um, this is actually pretty common. Programmers get frustrated. We write late at night. Um, the, the Wikipedia page for offensive comments links to the number of swear words in an operating system called Linux, which is publicly available. That graph is of curse words in Git commits and Git code. Um, those are pretty fun. These are some terrifying comments, keeping with the theme of the night. You'll often see code describing, or comments describing really bad code you wrote late at night with things like here be dragons, or magic, or I'm sorry. My favorite, the define true false basically says that true is now false. That's really evil. Um, of course, the scariest comments are when you find some terrible late night hack code that looks awful and ugly and is completely unreadable, and there are no comments. You are left to your own devices to figure out what exactly that code did, because the programmer who wrote it is almost certainly long gone. Um, these are from the same repo. I worked on them. The, spoiler alert, half of these are written by my dad. Uh, <laughs> those are all different, the exact same comment in six different places, describing why they didn't use recursion. <laughs> Uh, thanks for listening. That's my talk. It's just a brief run through of comments. I leave you with this one I found on Stack Overflow. <laughs> Truly evil. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a good night tonight.